Korean Culture and Information Service, or KOCIS, was established in 1971. So this year is celebrating its 15th anniversary. It is an affiliate of the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism since 2018. And what does the Korean Culture and Information do? It informs the world about Korea and boosts the national image. I'm pretty sure you know it even when the name does not ring a bell. The Korean Culture Centers in 28 countries, as well as the Culture and Information Officers in 8 countries, are part of the Korean Culture and Information Service. These centers and officers have been a key element in sharing Korean culture with other countries. Many events and activities are hosted by the Korean Culture and Information Service. This year there was the How Keep Up Save Me event, which is a talent competition between foreign K-pop fans. But there was also the Talk to a Korea contest, the Hangul events, and more. I watched this event and they were so good. There was a positive feeling that you could sense even when most of them had to be online. The important thing was everyone's participation and their energy. There was the K-Community Challenge where the Korean Culture and Information Service was one of the hosts too. I participated in this one for the first time and it was an enjoyable space where I could learn about traditional Korean arts while participating to win Korean souvenirs. Korean culture and information service never stops moving, always there is a new event or activity, it's fun to be part of them or just watch them. Also, some of its services include Korea.net, Facts Korea, and Talk to Korea, where I participate as an honorary reporter. It's fun to learn about Korea while sharing a space with other K fans around the world. We can write about Korea and interact with everyone who enjoys Korean culture. This is why I decided to celebrate the Korean culture and information service like this, bringing Korean elements in my own way. Why telling you about it so you can explore more and participate in the events too? You can check their websites and follow them on Instagram and Facebook. 
to find many things about Korea and events to be part of. I'm confident you will discover something new and fun, perfect for you. Finally, congratulations to the Korean Culture and Information Service for 50 years of opening the door of Korea to the world.